My balcony is open to sky. It's huge and has lots of plants. I love to spend time here, but over time it got cluttered and I got bored of the same look. So I thought, kuch kiya jai. Let's start. So I have these hubcaps and car tires lying around. Thought of using them. I'm not gonna buy anything for this project. Instead, I'll recycle waste and uh, turn them into beautiful decor. So first, I clean and wash the tires and hubcaps also used them as fitness props and then let them dry out in the sun this tire isn't that broad so it will make a lovely planter and the width of this tire is more so it will be a perfect seating to make a tire planter i need to cut the tire and give it the shape of a lotus and for that first i'll draw petals on it the petals have been drawn and here's my first mistake. I tried cutting the tire right from the rim and realized that it was too hard and uh, almost impossible. So I changed my strategy. I have actually figured out the way instead of cutting all the way through the rim what I'm gonna do is I will not cut the rims. I'll just start from here and then I'll stop here. So my petal pattern will be somewhere here so I just figured out that it is easier to cut this part using this craft knife so I'll just poke it like this and then back and forth motions like this it's easy to cut it as you can see Though still it's not easy, but easier than at least this and this. Alright, so this one is through. Great. So this way I'm going to do it all the way around the tower. It's almost done. Only this part is remaining, but my hands are already hurting. So I have finally cut it and if you are thinking that this was the toughest job let me tell you I am gonna do that now. So now I have to turn it inside out. It's quite a challenge but you know facing such challenges makes my work even more interesting and I just love it when I break stereotypes. Women cannot do this, women cannot do that. Well, I'm definitely gonna invert this tire. Let's do it. I have my sneakers on. So first, I'll just put it like this way and pull this out. And then began the real struggle. I kicked it 100 times, tried to twist and turn it in vain. You can watch behind the scenes video to see how much I struggled and the efforts involved in making such videos. I'll link it in the description as well as in the pinned comment. Please give it a watch. And then I changed my strategy and pushed the outer edge of the tire and pulled the petals outside and then I kept rotating the tire and kept pushing its outer edge until the tire was flipped inside out. Now there are two things you can do to make it a planter. Place a plastic on the floor, keep the tire on it. Here you can fill it with cement or concrete. 
and just let it dry make sure that you make some holes before you let it dry and then this surface will be covered with cement and it will be a durable kind of planter but what I am doing right now is since I don't have cement so I am going to stick this plastic here on the back part of it so I'll just cover it with double layer of plastic I used staple gun to secure the plastic you can use hot glue gun instead or you can just place a plastic inside the tire planter and then fill the soil in it so apart from this tire I have some other waste material as well that I'm gonna recycle and turn them into a beautiful garden decor like this broken watering can hub caps and this mud cup it has some leakage issues so I'm not using it anymore so all these ideas are uh, like Pinterest inspired but one DIY is purely mine and that I'm gonna show you now alright so this DIY is very simple all you need is some food packaging like I have these rice packaging and namkeen packaging green tape and double sided tape skewers instead of skewers you can use a wire first I'll just cut all the sides you can actually recycle any wrapper like noodle wrapper, biscuit wrapper any kind of wrapper as you can see it's open now I'll just wipe it it's the simplest thing that I'm gonna do now I'll just fold it in half cut it so we'll fold it this way so what I'm going to do is I'll just apply this double sided tape here cut it alright and then I'll just stick it right now we have to make slits on this side alright so we are done now what we have to do is take a small double sided tape stick it here and now to secure this end I'm gonna use this green tape so this one flower is ready now what I'm gonna do is I'll recycle all these wrappers and I'm gonna make lots of flowers and then I'll just spray paint them in my choice of colors since my garden doesn't have lots of colors so these blooms will definitely add some color so I have made these many I'll make few more and I want to show you these these have been in my garden for uh, eight months now and these are made of noodle and pasta wrappers meet the star of this project asian paints easy create the only thing i bought for this project everything else is waste material which is being recycled if i had used paint and brush it would have been really cumbersome job to paint all this stuff hence i chose asian paints easy create enamel paint spray i have added the links to buy these products in the description box now putting my mask on before I start spraying the paint first I'm gonna turn the tire upside down then I'm gonna shake the paint can well now let's paint look how convenient it is to paint using easy create spray paint I'm able to paint the entire tire in just two minutes now I'll use yellow easy create to paint hubcap red spray paint to paint watering can and these wrapper flowers I just love the high gloss finish it gives and it adheres perfectly to the surface also it doesn't smell bad it actually has some fragrance added to it
it dries quickly so it was easier for me to spray the second shade without the fear of it being smudged So this is the watering can and this is spout. What I'm going to do is I'll just fix it here and then I'll use this clay to cover it like so. And once it dries, I'm going to paint it again in this vibrant red color. It's done. I'll let it dry. Today I'm not going to move all the plants all by myself. I'll use my magic wand. Alright, Eva Nesco. Done. The balcony has been washed, wiped and cleaned. And then I gave a fresh coat of paint the pillars and the parapet which completely refreshed the look of the balcony all right now i'm gonna arrange all the plants all the taller sun loving plants will go here because this part gets the maximum sunlight and these two corners get minimum sunlight so all the shade loving plants will go here and then medium sized plants right in front of the taller plants and then the smaller plants in front of the medium plants just the way school photographs are clicked and here I'm gonna place that tire lotus It's day 4 today and today I'll do two DIYs. So first I'll put some fairy lights in this watering can and uh, second I will make tire seat and for that I will have to drill some holes in this tire. So let's start. So holes have been drilled and uh, also I have made a big hole here in the center in this watering can. I changed the bit, I used metal bit for it. Now I'm gonna fix fairy lights here. I'm gonna insert this one end of the fairy light in one of the holes and then I'm gonna fold it like this and then this part I'm gonna fold it again so that it looks like water is flowing and then I'm going to insert it again in this hole. Now the rest of the light I'm going to wrap here and then stick it here. So now I'm using this thread to tie the watering can.
Now comes the most interesting part which is weaving. So I am going to weave some pattern here using this rope. I highly recommend you use nylon rope because I don't have that at the moment and I am in no mood to go out. So I am using this one. This will not be lasting but since I don't have anything so I am going to use it. I will just pass it through the hole. Here you go. And now I am going to tie few knots here so that it doesn't come out. So I am using this huge needle. It is easier now. So I tried weaving it but I think it's not looking good, it's sparse, it's thin but for now I'm gonna use this only because it looks quite sturdy to me. Can you believe the only thing I bought for this balcony makeover project was Asian Paints enamel spray paint cans and everything else was upcycled and recycled. I feel accomplished. Tell me, what do you like the most about this makeover? <laughs>